Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. And before we get started with today's video, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. And please do not forget to click the notification bell at the bottom. Today, you guys, I have a confession to make. I'm kind of embarrassed, but... I want to make a video so you guys can learn from my mistakes. Uh, today's title of this video would be Why We Shouldn't Judge Others. Everyone knows that it's written in the Bible. We should not judge people. But yet we still find ourselves doing exactly that. First off, I would like to say we shouldn't judge because you don't even know them. You have no idea who they are, where they're from, what's their name, or anything like that for, for the people that we do not know and we judge. Not um, the people that we do know. Even with the people we do know, we're still not supposed to judge, but we find ourselves judging uh, people we have no clue about their name, where they're from, how old they are, nothing. Just just from seeing them and we'll just automatically start judging in our head. That's first on my list. You don't even know them. Who gave you the right and the authority to judge? Who are you? Who are you? I also want to say, are you God? If you are not God himself, you are not supposed to judge. Like I said, I'm embarrassed, y'all. I, I have a confession to make. I pulled out my camera. I want to tell the world about this embarrassing mistake that I just recently made. And hopefully someone can learn from it. And next, I want to state, when you assume, you always make an ass out of yourself. I know y'all heard that saying before. And it's true. So, let me tell you what just happened to me. This was, I believe, either Friday or Saturday. I'm not exactly sure which day because on both days I worked the double so I'm not sure which day it was but either or I went into the break room to get a cup of ice and some water and there was a um a short white man in there he had like it was like kind of going bald at the top but he had like that ginger type of hair that orangey red hair and he had like a a few strands of hair on his head. That's why I was able to tell. But majority of his head is like his. He's going bald. And um, he was standing right next to the the ice maker and the water machine. And he was warming up. Uh, I believe his lunch in the microwave. And I came in. You know me, all jolly and stuff like that. Uh, good morning. And it's only me and him in there. And I said it at a nice tone. So the man didn't say anything. I was in my feelings. I'm not going to lie. I feel some type of way. So I went on the other side of him. And I said it even louder. Good morning, sir. And he didn't, he didn't budge. He didn't nothing. So I say, well... May God bless you, sir. That's what I said. You know, hey, whatever. Hey, God got it. God bless you, sir. So I leave out. And I come back to uh, one of my co-workers. And I tell her, I say, man, I was just speaking to a white man in there. And um, I was all nice and stuff speaking and saying good morning. I said it twice. 
and he didn't even speak back so girl i told him may god bless you sir and all that i say with his racist tail that's what i said that's exactly what i said god forgive me and my co-worker said you think he was racist i said yeah what what other reason would that uh be not to speak to somebody so jolly because if y'all don't know like i'm very very jolly i'm very kind i'm very nice until you make me mad until you make me mad or try to play me for a fool then there's another side that i don't want to even discuss but other than that i'm jolly i'm, I'm nice hey hey what a party at how everybody doing how was your weekend what you do yesterday girl that's me that's the type of personality i have very bubbly so instead of being mature and thinking of many different reasons of why this man didn't speak to me that's the first thing i said so when i told it to my co-worker that's what she said you think he's racist like she's saying it like that's what you get from that and i was like yeah what other reason could it be so let it go I end up working a double that day, like I told you guys. So later on that evening, uh, probably like around six or seven, some my supervisor told me to take a 45 minute break. So I go outside to take the 45 minute break and I'm just sitting in my car, you know, on my phone and everything. And I noticed the man who didn't speak to me was approaching my vehicle him and another lady and i looked at him as soon as i seen him i said there he go right there you know like kind of there he go he didn't even speak to me so if i tell y'all god works in mysterious ways listen to me god is god all by himself thank you god he put me in the exact place at the exact time for me to see this. Now, my normal shift is from 6 to 2. So, I was supposed to already be off and gone at home. But, like I said, this day I worked a double. So, I was still at work. And this man is passing by my car, who I spoke to earlier in the day. And y'all, as soon as this man passed my vehicle, why did him and the lady start doing sign language? I immediately stopped what I was doing and prayed and asked God for forgiveness. And all I kept saying is, God, I deserve everything. Everything. I deserve it all. I deserve that, God. I deserve that because... Instead of trying to find out or think of something else, I automatically assume and automatically judge this man to be a racist when all along the man was deaf. Are y'all listening to me? The man was deaf and I'm sitting up here calling him a racist because he didn't speak to me. How can he speak to you if he don't hear you, Teresa? So, I decided to make that video and I'm 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 telling y'all that hurt it. It hurt it. It hurt it. That hurt it. It hurt to talk about it. That's why my eyes are watering right now because that's how bad I felt for uh for assuming that this man was a racist and calling him a racist and don't even know him. Never met the guy, never seen the guy, don't know his name or nothing. Just off top called this man a racist because he didn't speak to me so i want y'all to learn let's not do that let's not do that because that could have been me that someone's judging and don't even know me that could be you someone's judging you and you don't even know them and they don't know you let's stop that let's end that so that's why i'm making this video because I feel bad just talking about it. And I done told this story at least about three or four times right now. Because I'm going to keep telling it until someone 
learn from our mistake on the reasons why we're not supposed to judge. I feel bad, y'all. I feel bad, man. I feel bad. I still feel bad. It still touches me in a way that I can't even explain. Let's not judge. Don't do it. Don't do it. God is the only judge himself. And let, we're going to leave it at that. Let's not do that. Because you will find yourself being in a situation just like me. Where God heard everything that I said about this man. And yeah, he put it right back in my face. Just shoved it back in my face. Like, oh yeah, well look at this, Teresa. How about that? So... don't do it don't do it don't be like me so quick to judge when when i said well may god bless you sir i should have left it like that and thought of other things instead of being so negative there could have been a million reasons why that man didn't speak to me but first off top that's the first thing came to my mind lord forgive me for having that that train of thought that i have forgive me for that god Instead of saying, well, maybe he's having a bad day. Well, uh, maybe he confused me with somebody who did something wrong to him. Like, that could have been a million things to think of. But yet, I thought of the worst one. And that same day, God showed me that I was wrong. God is amazing, y'all. That's why I give him praise. Thank you, God. Because if I wasn't there that day, who's to say that every time I seen this man, I would not have kept that thought. Like, oh, I wouldn't speak to him again because he's racist. He's racist. Don't do it. Learn from my mistakes. You guys have an awesome day and may God bless you.